this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review, and today I'm going to show you how you can build a pop-up notification for your Microsoft Power Apps Canvas app. Now, as you can see here, I've got a pop-up, and we can just make that work. If you select the submit button, it'll do a pop-up confirmation, and then you can either cancel that, or you could then submit your form. Now, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and add a new container so we can keep all of the elements inside of the container and then it makes it easier to keep it clean so i'm just going to fill the whole screen with this container um actually what i'll do i'm just going to do parent.height parent.width and then just make sure those x and y values are on zero as well okay nice so in this container what we're going to do is we're going to insert a rectangle and we can just put this set the x and the y value to zero and then just come to the height and we'll just make this parent dot height and we'll make the width parent dot width Perfect. Now, in the rectangle, what you want to do is you want to come to the fill, and with the color, you can obviously add the red, green, and blue color that you want to have as the, the full screen background. But what's important is when you come to here, you want to change this to maybe 0.7, and that way you can see that there's still the form there, and it's just like a blank cover over the form. Uh, okay, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to click the container and insert another rectangle. And you want to make sure your container is at the top of everything. So that means it's at the very front. And then the way we'll layer this as well. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put this here. And I'm just going to change the color of this. I'll make this dark gray. So this is where we're going to have the buttons that we can select. Actually, I'll change that. I'll make that a lighter gray maybe. Yeah, that is that. Okay, so then next what we want to do is insert our button. So we'll have our submit button. And we'll copy this. Your cancel button. Change this to red. Okay, and then I'm also just going to insert some text as well so we can see. Okay, perfect. So now we can add the code. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come to that container and I'm going to come to the visible property and I'm just going to set this as the variable that we're going to use. So we'll call it uh, we'll call it confirmation up var. We'll just leave that as the visible property there. And now you can see that's removed that because the variable is not set as true. Um, and then I'm going to come to our submit button. And on the on select property, I'm going to do set confirmation pop up var as true. So let's just test this out now. So if I run the app and click that, that's going to set the variable to true. That's going to make the whole container appear. So now, as you can see, I can't click anything else on the form but the buttons that are in the, the notification pop up. And then what we want to do in the cancel button. Is we want to. Do set. Confirmation pop up bar as false. So that's where you're just going to set the visibility as false. Um, and then in the submit button, that's where you then want to do the, the code that you're going to execute. Maybe you're going to do a patch or a submit form. You can put that in the submit button. 
Uh, so if I just run this now, there you can see we can cancel that. That'll take us back to the form. If we want to submit it again, that'll do that notification pop-up. Now, I hope this video has helped. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and take care. Thank you.